What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Go Corner Talks Tuesday. In this video, I'm going to answer some questions that I got from you guys. Alright guys, so I do get comments on my YouTube channel and I'm kind of not the best about answering them, especially since I do get, you know, a good amount of comments and it's getting harder for me to keep up with them because I'm getting comments from my old videos and my new videos. So I try to get to them as much as I can, but sometimes I just can't. So I wanted to make this video just to answer some of the questions that y'all have been asking me in the last couple of months. So let's go ahead and get to the first question and that is going to be this one so let's go ahead and take a look at it it says what should i eat before a run or perhaps should i eat before a run i get this a lot so he gets this question a lot and people do ask me about nutrition i generally don't like to eat that much before a run because i do tend to eat a lot of food so if i do eat before a run i'm feeling in my belly it's jarring around so for most of my runs i try not to eat an hour before my run just so i have a belly that's not full of food uh if i do need some type of nutrition i'll take something light i'll take a goo if i'm doing a long run or even a goo during a run but generally i don't like to eat before a run after a run it's no holds bar i will eat whatever i want i'll eat a burger fry shake cake anything but generally you do want to have some protein in you you want to replace your electrolytes that you lost during the race you just want to recover right so basically proteins carbs calories that's what you want after your race to replenish everything that you lost during the race all right so this is a question from abaddon black formerly azezo black he changed his name but he says do you go looking for devices to review and what is your method of choosing a device to review uh so for my reviews that I do, I do do a lot of reviews. Generally, people will contact me through my email. Uh, companies, various companies, they will contact me and ask me if I want to review their product in exchange for a review. So I am not getting paid monetarily. I am getting the product for free. But I will tell them, like I tell you guys, that even though they send it to me, I have no agreement with them whether I should do a positive or negative review. So those reviews are all my own thoughts. And I do do some negative reviews. I do positive reviews. I do kind of meh reviews. Generally, when companies do ask me to do a review, like for a massage gun, for instance, I'll tell them to send me two of them just so I can give one away to you guys. And a lot of the times, they will refuse to send me two products, so I just tell them I won't do it at all because I want to send you guys stuff too when I do a review uh, just so that you guys get something out of it as well for watching those reviews and putting up with them. So I try to get them for you too. But other times when I do see a product that I do like, I will contact their media contact and ask them if I can review it. So it works both ways. I contact them and they contact me but it's always my own thoughts on those products so let's go on ahead to get to the next question this one is from Sama says he says how the heck do you stay healthy doing most of your running on pavement especially with those shoes he's talking about my Vivian for Ashikis uh, I am considering minimalist shoes just to see the difference what else is in your rotation so yeah I have been running in minimalist shoes for a long time I started back in 2012 I have a whole story about that on my YouTube channel but a lot of those miles are on concrete because I don't run in trails with those minimalist shoes very often. Just because if you do run in trails with those minimalist shoes, you will feel every rock, every branch, and there's not a lot of protection for your toes when you do hit a root. So I generally don't run in trails with those shoes. But I think the reason that I don't get injured is because I try to run with correct form for me. That means landing underneath my hips. Try not to heel strike, which for me is a bad thing. And I actually watched my other video the other day where I was heel striking on my left foot, but my right foot was not heel striking. It is what it is. I have not been getting injured. I do get a little bit of plantar fasciitis, but other than a little hip issue that's been arising this last year, I've experienced little to no injuries in terms of my running. In terms of my running shoe rotation right now, I'm running in Newton Desist 10s, Newton Desist 9s. A lot of my miles, the majority of my miles are run on those Vibram for Oshiki shoes. I love those shoes. I'm very minimalist. Uh, a lot of people think that they're crazy, but I like to run in them just because I don't have to wear socks. I hate wearing socks. I hate finding socks. Uh, so I don't wear socks with those shoes and it works for me. So those are the three main shoes that I'm running in. All right, what's the next question? This is going to be the next question right here. Day Day Hot Now. He asked me, did you lose weight? Uh, I don't know which video this was from, but I have actually lost some weight. So I did reach a high of 248 about a month or two months ago and I really wanted to try to lose some weight. So I have been trying to work my portion sizes, 
working out a lot more, and right now I'm down to 235. So before, I'm usually at 240 to 245. Right now, I'm at 235 to 233. Hopefully I can drop even more, and I will do a comparison between what I look like before and what I look like now, not, not today, but I will do a before and after comparison when I post my 30 days of Farmer Carries video, which is gonna come up in like uh, 15 days. All right guys, what's the next question? This next question is from Jane Doe 2 a Hi Goku, are you all running Houston 2022, 26.2? My 21 race date deferring to 2022. I hope to run it. Great run on this video, it's hot and muggy. So yeah, I will be signing up for the Houston Marathon 2022 whenever it comes around. I saw that they just filled up the tier three level, which means I'll be paying 170 bucks for that race. I should have signed up earlier. I think I could have got it for 150 bucks, but now I'll be spending more. So I do need to sign up for that before it gets another price hike uh, in the near future. So yes, I will be running the Houston Marathon 2022. One of my favorite races of all time. All right, this is from Swap Meet Shops. He says, I only use iMovie to edit my videos. What are you using? So. I used to use iMovie, uh, I, then I moved up to Final Cut Pro when I had a MacBook, but then my MacBook spazzed out on me and I can't use my MacBook anymore, so I moved over to Premiere Pro. Premiere Pro was a little bit of a learning curve for me to learn how to use it after using Final Cut Pro, but after a couple edits I was a pro using Premiere Pro as well. I do now have another MacBook, this is the M3 MacBook Air that my brother got for me. He won it actually and gave it to me in exchange for a watch that I gave him. So I do have Final Cut Pro again, but I do most of my editing on Premiere Pro. I like it, it's a great program. I would definitely recommend that to anybody who wants to edit anything on their computer. All right, what's the next question? All right, so this is from Dr. Funk. He says, so I guess you don't wear those shoes with a spring. So he's talking about these shoes right here. I use them for display now. And I did do a review on this. This was those crazy spring shoes. So if you guys see this right here, there is a spring on the shoe. It was made by this company called Inco. And if you guys do read the comments on that video, this company went out of business and they ripped off a bunch of people. So this company is horrible, but I did have the shoes. And there was a cool story about this. There was a company, a production company, that actually contacted me saying that they wanted to rent my shoes. And I thought this was a spam kind of thing going on. They told me they wanted to rent my shoes for $450, and I was like, is this even real? And she sent me all the paperwork, everything, where I had to sign contracts to release it, and I sent them these shoes to rent out, and I got 450 bucks just for letting them use it for a commercial. And the shoe only got about a second of screen time, so they paid me $450 to use this for a commercial for IBM, I think. So that was pretty cool. This is more of a collector's item shoe, so I don't run in these, I just put them over there for display. Uh, this is from Large Eddie. He says, great job on your run, great job with the video. Did you use your 360 camera to get the pans and zooms? So I do have a 360 camera. In fact, that's my favorite camera to use on races just because it's so easy for me to just get the camera out in front of me and I don't have to worry about what direction it's pointed. I don't have to worry about the angles because I can do that all in post. And if you guys don't know about 360 cameras, 360 cameras will take a video of everything, 360 all around. The handle will be invisible, so it can get some really cool shots. It looks like there's a drone flying around you, but I do tend to use the Insta360 ONE X for most of my running videos if I can, especially if it's not raining. I might get the new one, but it's like 500 bucks. So I'll be using my old 360 camera until it dies. All right, this is gonna be the last question. This is about jump roping. So it says, hi, may I ask if you jump rope for 10 minutes nonstop or if you took breaks, how often between the 10 minutes? So this is when I did 10 minutes of jump roping for 30 days. What I did when I did those workouts was jump rope for one song. So a song usually lasts about three minutes. So I would jump rope for three minutes and then rest for a minute and then jump rope for another three minutes. So I would be actively jumping rope for 10 minutes or more. I would just rest for 60 to 90 seconds in between that, but actively jumping, I did jump rope for 10 minutes, just resting in between. All right guys, that's gonna be it for these questions. Continue asking questions down below. I'll try to respond better to the comments that you guys leave on my videos when I can. Like I said, I do get a lot of comments from my old videos and my new videos, so it gets a little bit hard for me to respond to everything. But I do appreciate all you guys, and I appreciate the love that you guys gave me on those videos where people were putting me down. You guys rock, I love you guys. Thanks for supporting my channel by commenting, and yeah, let's keep 
keep this going. Hopefully I'll have some more videos to come in these coming weeks. Alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, give me a like, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace!